Number five, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted lowry base. And then we have, have letter F. So in this case, we have to just show that H2PO4- can act as a bronsted lowry base with a net ionic equation. Now, just as background information, Bronsted and Lowry were two scientists back in the day uh, that came up with the same idea. They didn't know of you know, each other. They worked on this independently, but they came to the same conclusion. They, they discussed acids and bases, and in specifically a base, they, they found out that the bases will always accept an H+. Remember that the acids are the ones that donate the H+. So if the acids donate the H+, the bases always have to take or accept the H+. And H+, is just hydronium, the hydronium ion. It could also be called a proton as well, but we'll get into that later. All we have to do for this one is just write the net ionic equation. So how do I show that a base is going to accept the H+, well, I have the base and the H+, on the same side of the equation. That way they can come together by accepting. So my base is this, so that's what I'm gonna start with. H2PO4, they told me that was a negative charge, plus H plus. And anytime that you have charged ions in a net ionic equation, that's always going to be aqueous. So I could say aqueous and aqueous. And also acids and bases, they're going to be aqueous as well. Now, since H2PO4- minus is not on my list of six strong bases, this would be at equilibrium with its conjugate acid. I would highly re recommend you memorize your six strong acids and strong bases because we're going to use them a lot in this chapter. Now we just got to find out that conjugate acid. Well, all you got to do is just gain one hydrogen and then add one chart add a plus one to the overall charge. So in this case, I had two hydrogens, but since I'm adding one more, I won't have two, I'll have three. So basically it would just be H3PO4. So that's what it means to gain one hydrogen. You just take this compound and add a hydrogen to it. And now I just have to plus one to the overall charge. The H2PO4 was a negative charge. That means that it was a negative one. So when I come over here, I say, okay, I started with the negative one, but I got a plus one because I added a proton or a hydronium ion, an H plus. So a negative one plus one, negative one plus one is zero. So I don't even have to write anything here. Since this is an acid, AQ. And we're done. That is the net ionic equation to show that H2PO4- minus is a bronsted Lowry base. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you can help us out, that would be awesome. Thank you, and I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.